Have any of you guys heard of Boys Town? It's a documentary the, that PBS was going to air, I think it was 1989, 1991. What happened is, in 1979, 1980, I believe, it was like 10 to 20 children went missing in a small town. And um, in 1989, 1990, three of them showed up as adults and they met with their parents. And they said they weren't going to stay too long. They had to go back or they were going to be killed and the family was going to be killed. And they said what happened is that the CIA kidnapped them from their front yard when they were kids. And put them in a sex, a child sex slave ring. And they went to the White House and they went to the Congress and they had sex with all of our top politicians. And they were involved in snuff films and child uh, pornography, pornos. Um, they said the CIA kidnapped them from their own yards. Okay? This is how we build our evidence. This is why a lot of us truthers are talking about the stuff we talk about. So when people think we're crazy, it's actually based on real, factual stuff. Now, the CIA notified PBS, if you were to air this documentary, we are going to pull your plug. No more PBS. See, we do need, I don't know if we need a CIA. We need an FBI. We need police. We don't need fiat money. We don't need the IRS. We don't need CIA. We need to go back to America again. Back to real freedom. Real freedom. Real freedom where I can drive without being buckled up. Where someone can hop in my car and drive my car. One of my friends can just hop in my car and drive my car if they want. Car insurance is important, but we gotta have a DMV $15 a month one. Anyways, I digress. Then there was Ted Gunderson, former head of the FBI in L.A., retired with honors, went in to do an investigation involving a preschool. These kids were claiming to have been taking part in a child sacrifice. They drew pictures that were horrendous. When Ted Gunderson investigated, he couldn't find anything until he started digging under the school. Then he found the tunnels the kids were talking about, the Mickey Mouse plate the kids mentioned, and a tunnel leading them to a platform with a helicopter where a helicopter could take off from. They said they were flown out to, to uh, do these satanic rituals. These are like little tiny kids. Ted Gunderson's investigation led him to the White House and the Congress. And then a lot of the truthers know about Washington, D.C. There's a pentagram, and if you look at a... What was the other one? There's like a pyramid and eye, you know, all, from, from the top view, like looking down like from an airplane. Good people don't run the world, and satanic people are kind of on the outskirts. It's the opposite way around. No, devil worshippers run the world, and we're the ones that are on the outskirts. It's really horrible stuff they're doing to these kids. It's really horrible. Gang stalking has got to be dealt with. We got to get a petition going. We got to get a lawsuit going. Because I'm telling you, if you were to follow the trail of the gang stalkers, it will lead you right to the same satanic people that are murdering these little children. The only way to have safety and security is to destroy these gang stalkers once and for all. We got to get a petition going, make special laws for it, Inform the American people at the same time. There's a lot to be done this year. The more of us that jump in, the merrier.
I believe if we can stop the gang stalking thing, and we can. I believe that if we do this, we're going to be able to deal with all the other atrocities. I hear people many times losing their farm. This is Monsanto. The seed blows over into their farm, especially designed seed. It has technology in it that is patent, so they're able to seize the entire farm. That's the seed blows over into someone's farm. And many times do we hear stories of the government taking people's homes away illegally. And then you got them buying homes with our tax money and giving them away to their friends. There is so much corruption going on. They're depleting all of our money. We're going to be broke soon because of them. I mean, why are they running gang stalking programs, first of all, when there's no money? I mean, it's illegal regardless if there is money, but at the same time, there's no money because they're trying to suck all the money out, <sighs> siphon it, because they cannot have a one world order until America falls. They have to destroy the superpower. If you're a victim of gang stalking, find out where your gang stalkers are across the street, on your street. Take pictures of them. Keep data. Why? Because we can trace them back when this stuff breaks out. We'll, we'll be able to back, backtrack. It's like breadcrumbs and Hansel and Gretel. Remember how they found their way out of the forest? It's the same thing. This, this people, special investigators can track them down for us and bring them into court. We send them with we we send them with uh, indictments. They have to show up or go to prison. And then when they show up, we got them. Boom. Let's 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 get this going, people. Let's get this organized.